Jasmine and Chris. Welcome back to another video. In today's video, we're going to show you how to make three easy vegan breakfasts. They are all perfect for spring and there's something for everyone. We have two sweet, one savory, and they are all pretty easy to make. Before we get started, if you're new here, please like and subscribe. We post videos every Wednesday and every Friday, and we always do our best to bring you fun, engaging content that has to do with veganism and yeah. And everything in between. <laughs> So for the first recipe today, what are we putting together, Chris? We are starting out with a potato breakfast hash. You can make it in a single skillet. It's really easy to make. It has potatoes, kale, bell peppers, vegan breakfast sausage. Really tasty, super easy. The second thing we're making are these gluten-free lemon poppy seed breakfast cookies. And we're actually using some Bob's Red Mill products today. Bob's Red Mill is sponsoring today's video. Thank you guys so much for working with us. We have collaborated with them in the past. We love all their products and we hope you guys can check them out. We'll have all the links down below for you guys. The first product we're using is their almond flour and this is perfect for gluten-free and also paleo baking. We're not making our recipe paleo today because we're adding some gluten-free oats, but Bob's Red Mill also has some certified gluten-free oats as well. Not all oats are certified gluten-free, sometimes they're a little hard to find, so Bob's Red Mill is the place to get them. Bob's also has the largest line of whole grain and organic products. And all their products are certified kosher and grown with non-GMO seeds. The final recipe we're making today are fluffy carrot cake pancakes. These are so, so bomb, full of flavor, and honestly, it's like the perfect mix of like a carrot cake and a pancake. I don't know. I'm, I'm I at think a loss. everyone's gonna love it. They're yeah. Bomb. So all the recipes will be linked down below as usual. They are on our blog, sweetsimplevegan.com, and there's tons more recipes there as well. So let's dive into this video. First up, we're gonna start by making a potato breakfast hash. In a large pan, we're just gonna add in some diced Yukon Gold potatoes with a little bit of oil. And we'll cook these for about seven to 10 minutes or until they're about halfway cooked. But the timing will depend on how big or small you dice your potatoes. Once the potatoes look like this, we're ready to add in our onions. And we'll just continue to cook everything for about another three minutes. Next, we'll add in the garlic and bell pepper and then we're also adding in some vegan sausage. Um, this is just a frosted and we're just breaking it up into little bits. Uh, this will vary though, depending on the type of vegan sausage that you use. We'll continue to let the veggies cook until everything gets nice and soft and the vegan sausage starts to brown. And then we're just gonna add some Old Bay seasoning in. Next, we'll add in some kale along with some black beans and then we'll cook it for about two minutes until the kale is soft and the beans have warmed through. And then we'll season with some salt and pepper, and we're done. The next recipe we're making today are these lemon poppy seed breakfast cookies. For the wet ingredients, you will need some fresh lemon juice, maple syrup or a liquid sweetener of your choice, vanilla extract, mashed banana, you can also use applesauce, flaxseed meal, and some fresh lemon zest. Mix that together until everything is nice and uniform and allow this to sit for five minutes. Grab your rolled oats and add about half a cup of that to a food processor or blender and process it until it forms a flour. And then to the wet ingredients, we're going to add the remaining rolled oats followed by that oat flour that we just put together. The Bob's Red Mill Super Fine Almond Flour, salt and baking powder, and last but not least, the poppy seeds. So just mix that together until everything is nice and uniform. And then we're going to pop this dough into the refrigerator to set for about 30 minutes. And once the dough has set, we're going to form our cookies. So we're taking two tablespoon size scoops of the cookie dough, rolling it and placing it onto a lined baking sheet. And what you're gonna wanna do is press down on the cookie dough. This doesn't spread out since it doesn't have oil, so we just wanna make sure that it is thin and it bakes through. So this is about half an inch thick. Continue this process until you have formed cookies with all of the dough. You're going to get nine cookies out of this recipe. And all you have to do now is just pop it into the oven, wait about 15 to 17 minutes, and you have yourself some beautiful lemon poppy seed cookies. We're gonna want this to cool completely on the pan before dressing them. But as they're cooling, we're going to prepare our glaze. This is optional, but highly recommended. It's made out of two simple ingredients, powdered sugar and some fresh lemon juice. If you're out of lemon juice, you can also just use almond milk or whatever plant-based milk you have on hand. 
but basically just whisk it together until it is nice and smooth and you are good to go. Once the cookies have cooled, we're going to generously dress them with the glaze. And I'm just doing simple zigzags here. You can get creative with it and do whatever you want, but I feel like this is the simplest thing to do. And that's it. All you have to do now is dig into your cookies and enjoy. The last recipe we're making today are these carrot cake pancakes with a cream cheese topping. So to start, we're going to make a flax egg. Just simply mix flaxseed meal with water and set it aside to thicken. To a large bowl, I'm adding in some unsweetened almond milk. You can also use any other plant-based milk of your choice, along with some apple cider vinegar, the prepared flax egg, and some vanilla extract. And just mix that together until it is nice and uniform. Next, we have some organic sugar. You can also use coconut sugar or whatever sugar you have on hand. Some baking powder, spices, some salt, shredded carrots, walnuts, and raisins along with the flour. Mix that together until everything is nice and uniform, and then we're going to set it aside for about 10 minutes to set. In the meantime, we're going to prepare our optional, but recommended cream cheese topping. So we have some vegan cream cheese, powdered sugar, and then an unsweetened plant-based milk of your choice. We're using almond milk here. And basically just mix it together until everything is nice and uniform, and you can make it as thick or as thin as you would like. Ours is kind of in the middle. We like it a little thick, but a little thin, if that makes sense. And the last step is just to cook the pancakes. We cooked ours on a nonstick pan over medium low heat. And we used a quarter cup measuring cup just to measure them all out and make sure they were all even. And that's about it. Top the pancakes with the cream cheese topping, maple syrup, and whatever else toppings you'd like and enjoy. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the content today. If you did, please again, give it a thumbs up, leave us a comment down below, and make sure you subscribe if you aren't already subscribed. And if you make any of the recipes, feel free to tag us anywhere you make them. We'd love to hear from you and we hope you enjoy them. And thank you so much again to Bob's Red Mill for partnering with us on this video. We always love working with you and we are honored to be one of your partners this month. If you guys want to check them out, their link is down below. They make high quality, minimally processed products from the mill to your table and they do have stuff online as well. That is all we have for you today. We hope you enjoyed today's video. Get some inspo for some cooking and like Chris said, make sure you tag us in your photos. We'd love to see them and we'll see you on Wednesday. <laughs> I was like, when is this video coming out? Have a good weekend. <laughs> Bye. Thanks.